Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing great. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some super cute school supplies. I started getting a lot of comments in July to do back to school themed videos, but I thought it was too early. So I'm doing my first one today. And if you guys would like to see another DIY school supplies video like this one, then be sure to let me know in a comment down below. As always, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, then if you could maybe click that subscribe button, that'd be very awesome. And yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so for the first DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own chocolate bar sharpener. For this, you will need a Tic Tac container and I've already emptied mine out. Now I'm taking the lid and I'm going to cut out the extra plastic. And I'm doing this because sometimes the pencil sharpenings, they end up getting stuck. So because of that, I'm just cutting off the plastic using a pair of scissors. And once you've cut it out, this is what it should look like. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. Now I'm taking my sharpener and I'm just going to see where I want to place it. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm just going to glue it in place. Once that's done, now you can pretty much decorate your container however you like. I'm going to take some air dry clay and I'm basically rolling it out and I'm going to cover the entire container with the air dry clay. You can decorate yours however you like. You can use washi tape, you can use stickers. There are so many things that you can do. I decided to make a chocolate bar and if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I made a polymer clay chocolate bar charm. So I pretty much just did the same exact thing but with air dry clay. Using my blade, I'm making indents for the chocolate pieces. You can also use a ruler if you don't have a blade. Once that's done, I'm going to let it air dry. Next, I'm taking some acrylic paint and I'm going to paint on the chocolate bar. So here I'm using some brown acrylic paint. I'm going to do very thin layers of the paint and once the brown is done, I'm going to do the bottom half, which you can do pretty much whatever color you want. I wanted to do red, but then I changed my mind. So I used this minty blue green kind of color. So I forgot to press the record button, but I basically put aluminum foil between where the chocolate bar meets the wrapper. So I took a piece of aluminum foil and some super glue and I glued it in place. I really need to pay attention while I'm filming because I think this is the second time that I forgot to press the record button or maybe third. Um, but yeah, here I'm just drawing on the cute face. Not much explaining to do because I've done this a gazillion times. Finally, I'm going to take the lid and I'm going to pop it on. If you want, you could like match the color of the wrapper with the lid, but I decided to keep it white. And yeah, there is the completed chocolate bar sharpener. For the second DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to make a super cute notebook cover. So here I'm taking some tape and I'm going to tape it down like so. Now I'm taking some acrylic paint and I'm going to start painting my notebook. If you don't want to use acrylic paint, you can totally use cardstock or colored paper and do the exact same thing. You don't need to use paint. So I took off the tape and I'm going to use my second color and do the exact same thing again. Once you've let the paint dry a bit, you can go ahead and make pretty much whatever you want. I am going to make a cute bear on mine. So 
So there's not much explaining to do because you guys can pretty much see what I'm doing and how I'm making the bear. But I will say it would be super cute if you wrote something on the notebook cover, maybe your name or the subject that you're using it for. I also added a line of tape on the side of the notebook and that's pretty much it. For the next DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to make some super cute paper clips. Here I'm taking some polymer clay and I'm making it into a kind of like an oval-like shape or a cloud-like shape. And then I'm going to take my needle tool and make indents. Finally, I'm going to make it into a cloud-like shape using my fingers. Here I'm adding the cute face, so I made two balls of black polymer clay and I'm going to put that in place. Then I rolled out a very thin snake of clay and I made the mouth. Using an X-Acto knife, I'm going to make a small opening so that I can put the paper clip inside. Now I'm just putting the paper clip inside of the clay and once that's done, you want to let it bake in the oven for about 20 minutes. I'm adding the blush using some pink acrylic paint and then I'm going to use some Fimo Gloss varnish to seal it all in. I made this raindrop paper clip to go with the cloud and I think this DIY is super super cute. For the final DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to make an adorable pineapple pencil case. So for this, I made a stencil using a foam piece, but you can also make your stencil with a cardboard piece. I just made the shape of a pineapple so that it would be easier for me. I put a piece of paper in between my fabric so that the paint won't bleed through. Now I'm just taking my stencil and I'm going to sponge on the paint. I'm using fabric paint, but you can use acrylic paint for this as well. You can also use fabric markers. And I think I forgot to mention, but I'm using some flannel material for this DIY. To give the pineapple some detail, I took an orange pen and I'm making diagonal lines. Now 
Now you can start making the faces. So I made a different face on each pineapple, but you can obviously make one or two different kinds of faces. Or if you don't want to make the face, you don't have to. Here I have a zipper that I got from Walmart and I'm going to attach it onto the fabric. So here I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to basically take one end of the fabric and I'm going to glue it in place. Again I'm going to put some hot glue and then I'm going to take the bottom end of the fabric and just glue that in place. I know I'm really bad at explaining this but I really hope I make sense. Now I'm going to flip it over outside in and then I'm taking my needle and some thread and I'm going to basically sew down the sides of the pencil case. You can also use glue for this. There is your completed pineapple pencil case. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in a comment down below which DIY was your favorite. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day so far. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.